tough. Just uh, you know, excited for one uh, for one son and disappointed for the other. Definitely. Um, what does it mean? You, know, you and Peyton and uh, Archie all helped out uh, with Katrina relief. And what, what does it mean to the city to have the Super Bowl here? And well, I th yeah, I mean, I think uh, you know the city is very proud. Um, of New Orleans, and, and uh, they're, they're happy to have a Super Bowl. I think it's uh, a great place to host, and, and they're used to hosting people at different events. People come in, and so that's what they're, they're good at, New Orleans is, and so I think uh, you know it's a great place to have a Super Bowl uh, just with the uniqueness that New Orleans is all about. It's food, it's culture. Um, you know, I think everybody's, you know, come in, we'll have a great weekend. What, what are some of those uh, <laughs> foods that have uh, taken you a little bit off the nutrition track yeah, uh, I mean, this yeah, last week? I, mean, I don't think a fried shrimp po' boy is, <laughs> is, is the, uh, the right thing to eat right before a game, but uh, it, it is pretty tasty. And, uh, you know, during, during this time of year, off season and, and uh, back home, uh, you, know, it, it, you know, I'll definitely have to get at least one. And so, um, you know, just, but, uh, just the oysters, the crawfish, uh, the, you know, a, a crawfish etouffee. It's just, you know, you can't find that in New Jersey and New York yeah. really anymore. So when you come down here, I usually, you know, get down here once or twice a year. Uh, you know, I got to get my, my, my New Orleans style Cajun seafood cuisine in. Awesome. I, uh, I saw the the rap that Freestyle Love Supreme did. Uh, what, what did you make of that? That looked like it was kind of fun. And uh, yeah, it was, it was fun. It was uh, unexpected. I didn't really know that that was coming out there. So uh, I think they were. They said they only had about an hour to to, uh, to prep for it and oh, uh, wow. came out with that. So pre pretty impressed that they could they could put that together. Definitely. Um, I've always thought Peyton would be a really good coach um, uh, once he retires. Um, do you see a future for yourself, for Peyton, and coaching? And you know, it's just tough to say. Um, you know, these the coaches in the NFL, they, it, it's it's a hard it's a hard job. It's a lot of work goes into it, and, and uh, but you know, obviously we have a passion for football, and, and probably want to stay in in, in the football uh, process some way. So it just, uh, but right now I'm going to focus on on playing at a high level. You know, trying to win some more championships and and uh, figure out once once. Uh, you know, my body can't take it anymore or I'm, or I'm not playing at a high level, I'll figure out what the next step is. Awesome. Um, I saw when you were speaking about the Connect football game, you said it's come a long way since the Tecmo Bowl. Okay? <laughs> and then you said uh, that you and Peyton used to have some battles on, on Tecmo Bowl. Is there a particular memory uh, with Peyton of that that you remember or just a general feeling? Yeah, just a general feeling. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember a specific game. It just, uh, we we kind of had, you know, a little, a little uh, Nintendo set up. Uh, we kind of had upstairs, had a little tiny playroom. I think it was very narrow and, and nothing, but we had a couple, you know, red chairs we'd sit in and, and, and play some games at night. So, you know, just anytime you're, you're, you're little, you get to, you know, play, you know, play some, uh, any, any sport or any game with your little brother, you look forward to it. Definitely. Uh, Steve Young recently said that Joe Flacco is Eli Manning, and it's a compliment, but a backhanded one. Um, what do you what do you make of Steve saying that? He's kind of been around the building today. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not, not quite sure. So uh, for, first, I heard of it. I don't know um, what what exactly that means, but uh, I, I think Joe's had had a terrific season. He's played extremely well. Through, through this playoff stretch, and, and that's what you want for your quarterback and to, to play well in big games. Definitely. You had a really awesome Pro Bowl. Uh, you said it was a neat experience to, to play uh, with your brother. Um, how was that last week? And it was what a lot of fun, away? yeah. It, it was a lot of fun uh, being over there. You know, a lot of great guys you know, brought my family over there, so they had you know, a great time during the day. Uh, good, good being around, you know, uh, the Green Bay coaching staff, the Denver coaching staff, getting to know some of those coaches and talk with them. So, you know, Peyton was over there. So, uh, a couple of teammates with Victor and JPP and Chris Snee. So, uh, a lot of fun. Great, great week, and uh, really enjoyed the whole experience. Definitely. Um, is your family going to the game together? Or are you going to meet up at the stadium? No, we're not going to go to the game. We'll probably watch, just watch it on TV oh, and uh, th just kind of do it, stay at home, and, and you know have, have my brothers around and my parents and all all our kids and just uh, enjoy being around each other. Definitely. Do you have a pick for Sunday? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of guess I'll go with stick with the the NFC and go with San Francisco, but uh, I think it'll be a good game. Awesome. Thank you.